It's a chilly one today. Slept like a log in there. Lovely and warm. But I'm hoping this is gonna turn and maybe get a bit of snow. They promised us a bit of sleet, so I'm just uh, hoping for the white stuff. So I'm keeping busy, got the outside fire on, prepared some wood for inside, a bit more wood for tonight. So I'll dive in there a bit later when it when it drops and uh, warm it all through in there for later. But no, I love I love this. This is this is great. So peaceful as well. So nice. Beautiful guys, really spicy. Just what the doctor ordered this weather. <clears throat> nice food, stunning fire. What more can a man want? Oh, this chili is beautiful. I'll leave that simmer in and help myself as and when. And there'll be enough for tomorrow as well. Perfect meal for this weather. Oh, that's spicy. Some serious uh, rain today. I'm gonna leave this wood burner on pretty much all all late afternoon and evening now. Draw everything out, dry myself out. Yeah, that's just constant rain. Joys of winter camping. You can't beat this though. The trails are drying out lovely. Can't be bad, eh? Didn't know whether this wood burner was going to be big enough. I was a bit, bit worried about it, but uh, it's definitely holding its own in here. 
you know, in comparison to the size of the tent. But the liner just makes up for it. It's been on about 10, 15 minutes and already you can feel the heat building up in here. It's definitely a must for conditions like this. I would not want to be out there now soaking wet with no fire or shelter. It's probably about four degrees out there and it's quite heavy rain. But tucked up in here, me and Buster, it's, uh, it's enjoyable. Finally stopped raining and it is lux in there. I'm down to me down to me thermal now. I've got all my clothes hanging up around, drying them out. It's just got rid of all that damp, it's a lovely dry heat from a wood burner. It's gorgeous in there now. So that's me for the evening. A bit more uh, bit more ukulele I think and then then I'll be reading. I'm reading a great book at the moment. It's a, it's a couple that are spending four years in Alaska. They've gone out, um, made their own canoe. They've loaded all their gear in there and they're gonna travel north and they're gonna set set up camps as they go and then in the autumn time they're going to build a log cabin and stay in that so it's a, it's a great read real explorers a young couple about 26 in uh, 1947 so it's a great book I'll show you it so it's a real real old classic and it's great so it's a great read. There's a couple of pictures in there I'll show you. But there's three three books in this in this kind of series. There's their log cabin and their burner. So it's a lovely read why why I'm here in the in the tent. So they just had enough of society with all the, the rules and regulations and You know, stuck in society's rules, so they decided to up sticks and and head north and spend time with the with the Eskimos. I'm only a little way through it, but if you go on YouTube and look up um, Alaskan archives, you'll see their their video that that kind of accompanies the the book. So it's Alaskan, Alaskan Archives, uh, they're a great couple, I think they're, they're, um, they're my favourite couple on, on YouTube, there's no, there's no sound, it's just, it's just silence, which is, which is quite nice, but it's nice reading the book and kind of hearing their mindset and, and what they're hoping to achieve, so I'm going to read a bit more of that tonight but this book was quite hard to get hold of and it's called um, oh gotta watch the pages it's falling apart we live in the Arctic um, like I said amazing couple very inspiring so a look 
a brief look tonight but as I go on through the series I'll show you you know more and more gear in depth but this these are my two power packs I've got a Delta Eco Flow on the top shelf so that's keeping everything topped up all my batteries phone radio camcorder so that's some that's an amazing piece of kit and then down the bottom there I've got the let's turn that light off plug that I've got the the power oak big bad boy there so that's that'll last about two to three weeks and I've got these little USB lights that I plug in and they're really really re you know useful don't hardly burn anything so that's my kind of power supply why I'm here if you're wondering how keeping things top topped up and I smoke a, a electronic cigarette as well so that keeps that that charged but they're really really good units so I'm not short of power with with both of them in here so that's sort of a brief look at me my electrical side of things inside the inside the Arctic tent so someone mentioned to me I should get an electric blanket and plug it into one of them so <laughs> that'll be good the beauty of these as well they they both got inverters in so I've got a a little electric light from home which I plugged into the power oak that takes a bit of time to come on so that inverter will cut in so it's a thousand watt inverter and and the power oak and 1800 watt on the delta there it goes so nice bit of home comforts with the electric light That's lovely in there, it's a lovely red glow, which makes you feel quite warm. And talking of lighting, I've got one of these as well. This is a, a USB, USB light, so that's really, really nice in here. You can change the colours spin your hand round on the top get a selection of different colors for different mood settings and that gets charged on the on the power system that's a lovely little light it's got a little hanger on there as well so that's uh, that's nice it's going through the colors at the moment That's a lovely bit of ambience in here. So that's kind of me, me lighting. I've got a head torch as well, which I've I've done a review on. That's an O light head torch. <clears throat> that's hanging up there. I use that, you know, for walking around camp and going out at night. You know going to the toilet and collecting bits and pieces as and when so that's kind of my power lighting while I'm here but without these it'll be really hard it'd be hard sitting here you know with with candles all the time it's nice to have a bit of LED lighting although I do love love me candles and me and me lantern the paraffin lantern so I mix you know I mix and match the two 
have this on some nights with the candles and obviously if I'm reading or doing bits and pieces I'll have the LEDs on but that's that's I love that piece of kit can't beat the paraffin lanterns plus it gives out a nice bit of heat as well so the beauty of this liner that I've installed gives you kind of three skins at the door you got your mozzie net and then your main door because it, it's getting quite cold now it stopped raining I think the skies are clearing so I kind of seal myself in in the evening I just tie it up with toggles and this liner comes with a zip that I, that I installed So when this is done up, like so, with the other doors done up, like that, you completely, you completely sealed in. You can see why they did use this in the Arctic conditions, and now that you know you're completely entombed with that wood burner. There's no cold air at all getting in here. It's you know you could go down to some seriously low temperatures. You know, like I said, I've got a tiny wood burner, and that's that's sufficient for in here. I'm just down to me thermal, and it's been a been a rotten day, raining all day, and now it's clear skies. So that you know it's going to be probably two or three degrees, maybe a frost. And I'm walking around in in thermals. So it's it's a win-win. This this tent is so pleased with it. And last last autumn, I stayed in a in a teepee with a bigger wood burner, but. It was a single skin, and that 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 was warm. But I think, you know, if I had that bigger wood burner in here with this liner, th this would be uh, phenomenal temperatures. You know, you probably go down about minus 25, minus 30, and be walking around in shorts and t-shirt. Because I was thinking of upgrading the the wood burner, but seeing what it's how it's coping it was it was a bit of a worry whether it'd be warm enough or not but it's it's fine it's it's perfect it's not too hot and it's 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 not cold it's it's worked out really well I'm really really pleased with my setup you know you can come in after a cold day which I have been pretty cold today cold and damp and that's been on a, a couple of hours now well probably more Two and two and a half hours, and um, you know it's it's toasty in there. Yeah, everything's nice and dry. But without without this and this this liner, I think I'd be uh, I'd be struggling. And this is why you can, you can stay out for long periods of time when when you've got gear like this and this. This Arctic tent and and the liner wasn't mega money. I think I paid five hundred pounds for the tent and the liner, about five fifty. So for five hundred and fifty pound, you've got a big tent with a lot of space that's that's really warm, and whatever the weather throws at it, it, it can it can handle it. So you know some of my gear is expensive and. And some of my gears cheap, you know, reasonably priced for for people. You know, people say to me, you know, how can how can we camp on a budget? You, you can camp on a budget. You can do this sort of thing on a budget. You know, go to army surplus and and you can attain a lot of gear that's that's quality for for no money. You, you don't need to go out and spend thousands and thousands of pounds. 
I, I spend quite a bit because you know I'm doing it all the time and I, I love what I do. Some of my gears sponsored. I only have gear. I only accept gear that that I want and I really like. You know I wouldn't ask for something that I didn't like or I wouldn't use. So everything that you see me reviewing or is sponsored by it's um, you know stuff stuff that I'm going to use you know like the the power packs they're stuff they're pieces of equipment that that I'll use in here and and when I'm over landing my head torch as well that's something that that's a must but same again you don't need to spend mega money on on equipment you can you can buy cheap head torches that, that do the job so there's no there's no excuses you don't need to be overly wealthy to to be outdoors these days but you know if you have got a bit of money and you do want to do it then buy some buy some good gear like I said army surplus they do some great gear you can see by this tent, you know, in my in my jacket that I wear, that's that's army surplus. A lot of my stuff is from army surplus, and their sleeping bags are good. Right, oh, I might have another coffee, I think. But this is my Outbacker wood stove, and I bought it with the clip-on water tank so that heats that lovely that nice steaming hot cup of coffee inside the the tent but same again this this wood burner wasn't wasn't that expensive it was about 160 or 180 pounds and I've had it for about three years and it all still works really well. You know, regulator on there, the door's pretty good. Nice flat cooking surface, and you've got the two grates either side for drying your socks and drying wood out. Ring there comes off so you can have direct heat while you're cooking. But this this has been been an awesome piece of kit. And it's it's working really well. I'll be trying to make my own entertainment as well while I'm on this winter camp out. I've got no TV or anything like that. So ukulele. Keep practicing on it because it. Uh, what's it now? It's about four o'clock and it's pretty much dark so lots of practice
hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you on the next one enjoy the great outdoors <laughs>